Welcome to ancient Egypt, land of the pharaohs. High five to the people who recognize that reference. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed World Gaming channel as we continue our journey, our first journey in Total War Pharaoh. And last time, the last episode, we just took the city Destiny of Ashkelon me. over and here with Ramses and we picked an ambition to establish a partner agreement with any faction. This will reward us with 2000 food and 300 gold, so it's an easy mission, let's get it done. Now what would I want? I think I'm going to look for stone and let's just say that they would desire gold in the name there's not a duty, whole lot that i want to do with gold this early me. on so i feel like we can spend a few resources I'm sure this let's see he seems gods. to like us let's do a barter agreement how about you give us i don't know a hundred soon per turn It seems like it goes up by a lot at some point. Let's see, 50, and what if I give you a bit of gold? What if I was to give you, let's say, 25 gold? How much still would you give me for 25 gold? Quite a lot. Okay, I can even go down a bit. 22, 23, 24. I guess on 25 we're fine. So this would be for what? 10 turns, that would be 250, and I get 300 from the mission. I feel like this is a good deal. We will achieve. Yeah, why not? Exit negotiation, yes. And there we go, we got 300 gold in the process, we're gonna lose 25 for 10 turns, but we're gonna get a bunch of stone until we finally manage to, to get some stone ourselves. At this moment, I also want some non-aggression pacts here to the north of us. However, they will be quite expensive at this point. What I'm thinking is that I'm going to use Ramses to take this entire region here, move towards the south. There is an abandoned settlement over here, which I am thinking that I should be recruiting another hero and move him down here in order to establish a colony. I think like that would be a great idea and a good source of stone early on. Still, it might be a bit dangerous as well. I am unstoppable. Mm. Are we going to attack this early? Yes. Yes, we are. So, I am going to just declare war over here. And we're going to take the city of Rushalim first. Let's see, 5 plus another 9 troops, he's mustering, so yeah, we do not want him to be recruiting more troops. What is the map like? They, they have a source of water, this replenishes stamina, and that gives morale. We have 4 points that we could attack. They do have a bunch of clubmen, some medium sword and shield. A bunch of archers. I think that I Keep might just surrounded. want to besiege him for a turn here. I'll think about it. Let's take a look at some of our other regions. Let's take a look at our other hero first and Proud see what we can recruit. We're still waiting for some of these buildings to be built. It takes three turns for that to happen. So at the moment, Ready I am just battle. going to continue and bring in, we're going to bring we in some Magi strength. Chargers because they are really good, really strong in battle. I feel like that is a good idea. I want to expand on some of these buildings. Yeah, let's get some extra food. As you can see here, we can get our fig farm, provides us with one happiness, one or two influence and 170 food. And to begin with, I feel like this is a great idea. When we have enough growth, we could go even further. I could bring even some wood in some of these regions. Once again, I, I feel like it might be a good idea to do so. These are basic resources. It might not be as useful later on, but for now, it's definitely something that might pay off. Let's see. Do I add up another 300 upkeep with another general? It is a lot. 
but it also feels like a good idea to just march through this land, establish a colony here, start producing those stone early on. He will... He will definitely not like us. Past war, so we've been at war with him. Historically speaking, and that's why he doesn't like us. This guy likes us a bit more, so going uh, walking through his land seems like a better idea. Getting those penalties from... Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Let me do that. Let me recruit another hero here. Proud son of Egypt. To the workshop okay. of the gods. We're gonna get some movement back over here and then we're going to start marching towards this abandoned city. To okay, battle. time to make our plan here. Let's go in let's go into the battle. Or do I? <laughs> it's Let's wait a turn. Have nowhere to run. Let's wait a turn because we will get some Magi Warriors during our next turn here. Because it is the end of the year. Yeah, definitely. That that does sound like a good idea. And over here I could even get ourselves a Shrine of Ra. We'll see, but maybe I want to do it more inland. We'll make a resource outpost or something here. We'll make a fort here. They want a non-aggression pack for 274 gold. Not happening at the moment. Uh, you want a non-aggression pack, weirdly enough, and I am not planning to give one to you. Okay, he is selling out. Apparently, he's not giving us a good balance of power here, but we are going to fight it. I feel like we can do better on on being sallied out rather than what we had earlier in the city. We can even draw them out over here in the mud. Hmm, we shall see. Ramses, the side of the gods. I have the gods on my side who have bestowed upon me youth and wisdom. My name and my destiny compelled me. You think a few hundred men will steep the scales? Okay. So. On one side we could fight there. Reinforcements are arriving from here. What other opportunity would we have? Fight over here? Provides cover for light infantry units. Hmm. Might not necessarily be a bad idea. But I'm thinking of fighting over here or somewhere here. There's also a chance that they will not do that. They will just march through here and they will attack us over on this side. And that is most likely. If I have to think like an AI, I believe that that is something that they will do. So for the moment, let me try to do something like this. Good swords on the flank. We will do right, it. we will have a line like this. The gods are watching you, man. Then I will have the ranged troops over here. I will have some magi on this side, and I will keep the hero very close by. What is my calling? Or the commander. Okay, this entire area, we can fight in this entire area. Now, I will try to see if I can get over here to these mud flats. Because if there is a chance that we might be able to get here to fight, and that could work to our advantage. Okay, they, they've led their archers out in the open. So what we're going to do is that we are going to rush them. Yeah, we are going to rush them over here. Soldiers, move! Never back down. We will not falter. March! Ah! 
and the best charge I've done. But there we go. Let's get here. Let's quickly attack these armies. Uh, I want a bit of a focus on some of these. Let's try to get his commander. Okay. Move swords. Let's get towards these warriors here. Right, we're doing a bit of flanking. Actually, let's see if we can break this axis first. Right, why not? Let's do that first. It's nice, it seems like his hero is going down. So is ours. Yeah, they're doing a bit... Oof. Let's retreat to grab this because these bowmen are pummeling us. Let's engage. Nice. Okay. So that was a bit dangerous there. We almost lost our commander in the process. But let's stay on them. Okay, these axes are going down. These javelins are doing work. Sons of Egypt! Chargers? Yes. Actually, let's make sure that we've broken them first. I want that general dead. These are, are retreating. I will quickly move you forward. I will take these swords over here. I will take these swords over here. Okay. Winning some, losing some. It really seems like it's a tight battle. Something that I expected already. On the move. Let's reposition these archers. Soldiers move! Kill them all! You fire there, Ready you try to, to fire over here. Swordsmen! You let's reposition Make you as well. Moving. Stay in guard mode. Hold your position! Standard shot or flaming shot. Which has an effect on morale. You know what? Let's do a bit of flaming shot. Ah, come on, swords. Go after those lingers. I don't know why you stood still there. With a lot of damage. You stay on them. These archers fire there. Let's throw Ramses into the battle again. As at this point, it feels like there's not a whole lot more than they can do. Okay, these guys are on fire. They're losing morale. Let's stay on them. Let's focus over here as well. Okay. Good. And we're gonna focus on their heroes a bit more. This will stay on them. And there we go. We have got ourselves a win. Pretty much as expected. Took more losses than I wanted to. But I'm still getting used to the game. So I I'm sure I'll do a lot better going forward. For now, the most important part is expanding territories, getting some, some of those basic resources settled, uh, building up our cities, building up our trade posts and everything else that we might need so that we can expand our armies and protect our cities. Okay, 8% replenishment, what did we lose? We lose some lower Egyptian militia. But there we go, it's Chef Zohor. As the cycle turns against, uh, uh, again upon your land, the royal court convenes once more in the eyes of the gods. Okay, we've unlocked a few more features here. Here is the action. So if we use this, Ramses' command, we get the benefit for all of our armies to attack in March stance until the end of the turn. All units will enter the battle fresh during this time. Great. And if we do not use it, I see, so if you do not use it, we have the ability to train Magi. Add Magi units to your special recruitment pool, their amount and value are affected by your buildings. Their amount and value are affected by your buildings. So, 
The amount of troops that we can recruit are affected by our buildings and also the value. If we can raise, I am thinking, I do not know this at the moment, but I'm just trying to, to read between the lines and understand it. But if we're calling in, if we have higher level buildings, then maybe we will have an opportunity to... Yeah, we might, we might just get an opportunity here to Only call in even better Magi Warriors, me. which is great. It means that the ability will still have Witness value later on. Gods. So we recruited another Magi Warrior there. A Over here, if I auto-resolve, we will lose this Magi Charger, which does have I'll find a way to one level myself. of batteries. You know, it's actually four levels. And I, I don't really want to lose them. They have better stats overall. So let me just quickly jump into this battle. And we'll take a look at the city while we, we attack and take them out. I'm going to keep this unit behind just because I don't want to lose it. Probably some of the other depleted units as well. And we're just going to charge with the ones who are still okay and can get a few replenishments. Lord Visibility, Reload Accuracy and Range. Okay, it didn't happen and the next forecast is worse. So, let's see. Probably bring a bunch of swords. Actually, let's mix. We'll mix a sword. Sword! with one of these chargers leave you behind another sword over here and probably we can put two militias like that we'll have two militia like this if only to confuse the ai i'll bring you here abrams is here as well we'll have two javelins over here and I'll bring two archers over here. Start the battle. Behold my greatness. With me. For the ages. Let's go forward. Let's attack. Let's do that as well. We'll move the militia up as well. I'm not sure whether we will attack or not. We shall see. So the water fountain provides free stamina, three percent stamina per cent. That's really good. I would say that there is a really good reason why you would want to fight within the city. Okay. That's enough. Archer fire. We're just going to charge them using these units and we're pretty much going to wreck them. Yeah, look at that. On the charge. They're going to, to just lose it. Let's continue forward. It seems like they're not paying attention to us. Good, you're done. You're probably done. Yes. Let's go forward Slay then. Them. Archers, focus anything. on his Body hero. Warriors, warriors focus it's on that sword, medium swordsman. I will use these javelins to focus on his we hero. We'll bring the rest of the troops inside the city. Nice. Victory will be my legacy. A decent charge there. Let's now focus on his archers. Our archers are better than his. So we should be able to do things pretty nicely. Stance, advance. Onwards. Yeah. What I will do is that I'll place these javelins like this. And we're going to start firing javelins upon them wherever we can good archers have done their job let's go forward let's go towards these archers here with this sword let's go towards the left here probably take ramses as well and try to do an ambush over there 
And sure, let's bring our archers forward as well. Good, he is retreating. We can go forward. We can go after these javelins here. Or better yet, you go after these slingers and you go after those javelins. Swordsman! Infantry moving! Fire! Javelins! Let's see. Do we get good fire upon these? Get some. Hope I don't we don't heal our troops too much. But with these swords charging in, we should be okay. Let's move forward toward these archers. Hey, you this way, brother. Should you stay there? I'm not even we sure. Stand, okay, these are breaking, so we could go with our clubman off Shoot here to, to this javelin man. On the march. Go forward. March of nice. Everybody has routed. I am invincible. And at this point, fast forward, the battle is done. The city is ours. We have lost only 18 men. Really nice. We didn't lose our units. We can get ourselves some replenishments and still have an army to, to push further in. So overall, I'm super happy with the moves that we've made. We are warriors without fear. Occupy. My ambition is rewarded. Okay. Destiny calls me. And I, am I will recruit further Canaanite recruits. Any eight ball body on the battlefield will help us. We can get a bit more food. We can also throw in here a happiness building. But what do we need? We need a bit of extra wood. Okay. Anything else that I want to build? I don't think I want to build anything else for right now. We could go to the next level of city here because... Because we don't have the stone. And I will take the opportunity to do that. Other pending actions at this point. One general has not moved. Proud and we know about Egypt. it. Proud son of Egypt. You? I will heal First of all, move here. Will. Recover some of your movement range. And let's go in a forced Ready march. Yourselves, and have you walk here yeah, through all of Get these going. lands. You? I am unmatched. I will give you two more There's chargers. In numbers. Our bronze will start to go down. But I, it doesn't matter too much to me. As I believe that the moves that we are making are very Greatness important. Awaits. With Ramses we have leveled up, so let's give him even more replenishment, he's at 10% and now we also get free melee defense to the entire army. It's good. Early on I feel like every point matters. He gained another item, item here which would reduce the workforce cost. We will leave him? No, let's not leave him with that. Let's give it to this person as he's going to be establishing the city. Right, he is establishing the city and thus he is going to have an opportunity to get his abilities or his buildings in quicker. Okay, what else do we have up here? We've unlocked our, some objectives. We're going to go, I feel, for the ultimate victory. It really depends on what we need to do in order to get the ultimate. We'll definitely go for major at least, but who knows. On diplomacy side, I don't care for anything. Local deities. So this is our first god. And I am wondering a bit whether we should stay with Ra or not. Because he's providing us with this. So in places where we have shrines dedicated to Ra, we are getting plus one to melee defense, generally speaking, right? At the basic level, plus one to melee defense on recruitment. Workforce growth plus five, which is really good. To, to improve the area, to grow our cities. When we pray, when we visit one of the shrines on the map, we get some missile resistance, which is okay, but not the greatest. The 
morale is definitely good. And when we devote a general to him, oh, we're getting 12% more melee attack and 18% more melee damage. I see, so it's not only about chariots. I really thought that it was about chariots, but this sounds a bit better to me. I am not sure what we're going to go for next. Maybe we're going to go for Ptah as a secondary god. But we shall see. It really depends on who we discover and what we decide to do at that point. Okay. We also have the Pillars of Civilization at this moment. Basically, depending on the level of your cities and how much you keep them intact and protected, your population or our faction will get bonuses. Replenishment 2%. As civilization state will go down, as cities start to burn, as you know you have all those civil wars and everything else which stops the growth, the sea people and the nomadic tribes will gain more bonuses, they will start appearing more often on the map, and your faction will start to incur some penalties overall. Plus, more and more you'll have higher chances to get worse effects. Right now we have abundance, workforce growth increased by 50 in all of these areas right here, a few which are ours. But who knows what events we will be getting in the future. We will be getting earthquakes, uh, I think droughts will happen as well. I Who knows what else? Haven't played enough to, to know it by heart, but we shall Destiny see. Bound. Okay, over here, going forward, we cannot reach him, so I am thinking of going as far Destiny as we can and greatness. then maybe put ourselves in a different stance. Ramesses, the bold. What are these? Are these rebels? Or is this one of the factions? Never back down. Reptash? Are they up here or somewhere? Hmm. I do not know exactly what this faction is all about. I stand strong. Why do you buzz around here like a mosquito, Ramses? Uh he's not a part of this one. He's not part of this one. Let's see. Opportunist, unreliable, strategist, and aggressive. We might just declare war on him to take him out in the process. Otherwise, he's going to raid our lands. If I remember correctly, this is something Blessed that happened by before. The gods. Ambush? Eh, yeah, sure, they let me go in an ambush stance. Who knows whether someone will walk through. Okay, let's bring in a senate house for happiness. Over on this side, Legacy we can recruit troops further. Loyal and strong. And I'm thinking of not recruiting anyone else. By fate. If I bring four or six clubmen, that's 15 troops. We will bring better archers that are not consuming bronze. What, five? Five of them? Yeah, so that's the full army. I'm also thinking about bringing a bunch of swords, right? Join me, warriors. Okay, let's bring in some swords as well. Always ready. Ooh, I'll look at our food. All will remember me. In the name of duty. Let's reduce our um, army upkeep My over here. Yeah, we'll start by doing this. We should have done this earlier. A place to rest. And I should stay here and attack. Yeah. Yeah, it is a bit too much. They don't have a whole lot of troops the which can stop us. Me. So I'm going to bring in some swords and then I'm going to attack this region. They have 9 troops here, plus whatever he has in his army. Okay, I'll have to think and move in quickly. Let's take a quick look at what we can do as far as trading goes. 
I would want people who are not interested in food and are interested in maybe more gold because we do have quite a bit of it. Good things always happen when we If we go here, together. let's see. Let's get not a single trader. A single trade could work as well. But it really depends on how much they have. Maybe a barter, let's see. A hundred. If I give you another 25 gold per turn, how much food can you get from you? Forty-five gold. That's four hundred and fifty for five thirty, five forty. Okay, five forty food. Certainly. Yeah, we're gonna spend as much of the gold as we can here, mostly to try to to bleed less. We are going to go Empire. and establish our next city. Born to lead. I am unstoppable. Anything else? Settlement upgrades can happen. But in none of the regions that would matter for food at this moment. So we're not going to be spending any more resources on that. We'll do a final end of the turn. Okay, and pick an ambition. What do we want to do going forward? Strategies, conqueror, or another strategies? Maintain a bunch of units which we do not have access to. Maintain a total of 88 units from native upper or lower Egyptian. Or hold 8 settlements. Expansion. Your kingdom thrives and yet it yearns to grow mightier still. It, it is time to bestow the blessing of the divine guidance upon yet more lands. We will do that because we will get 2000 more food and 300 wood and we will be holding 8 settlements very soon. But that is all the time that we have for today. Hope you have enjoyed this episode. We are going to return tomorrow with another one and I am going to do a lot more or a lot more. A few more on, on, the, on the weekend. Don't want to over promise but we'll definitely do more than one. So that we can enjoy this early experience of Total War Pharaoh, because I am very excited for it. With this in mind, thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.